What is up everyone and welcome to episode 8 of Universe Mode. We are kicking things off with Austin Adams defending the Intercontinental Championship here on Monday Night Raw. And now Austin, he uh, was forced to be put into this match to actually defend his championship. So let's find out who Austin Adams is facing here tonight for the Intercontinental Championship. And it looks like Drew McIntyre is coming out here to fight Austin Adams for the Intercontinental Championship to kick off Monday Night Raw. And as you guys know, recently these two have been going at it just back and forth, promo after promo, just attacking each other, just showing no respect towards each other. And as you guys can see, if you guys pay close attention, you guys can notice that the Monday Night Raw arena is completely different. That is because um, they have a new construction crew working, and they came out here and worked on the Monday Night Raw set, so now it's completely different. But that doesn't really matter. What matters is that Drew McIntyre is looking to capture the Intercontinental Championship away from Austin Adams. So let's go ahead and get this match started. And here we go. The ref has rang the bell. The match has officially begun for the Intercontinental Championship. Now Austin Adams with a forearm strike. Taking down McIntyre just like that. And now McIntyre, he's in control now. Another forearm strike, look at that. No, McIntyre had to roll out, but Austin caught him just in time before he could. Nice maneuver there from McIntyre. Now McIntyre, he knows what it's like to be Intercontinental Champion. He knows how to capture a championship here in the WWE but obviously so does Austin Adams but McIntyre he has to bring his A game especially with someone like Austin Adams and look at this McIntyre with the power ball maneuver Oh wait, what was, what was Adams looking for? And look at that, air raid siren, connecting. McIntyre, looking for the Claymore, and he got it, going for the pin. One, two, and no. What? Austin Adams. Wait, what is this? The Usos. What is going on here? McIntyre turn around. AK-12. Go for the pin. One. Two. No. McIntyre staying alive. Oh, what is going on now? Oh my God, that's Roger Strong. Roger Strong from the Undisputed Era. What is he doing out here? Now McIntyre with the roll up. The ref, one, one, two, three. And look at that, McIntyre with the roll up and he steals it. McIntyre steals it. McIntyre is now the new Intercontinental Champion with the help from Roderick Strong. Look at that Claymore kick. He almost kicked Austin out of his head off. But it just wasn't enough. Austin Adams able to stay alive in this one. Then you see the AK-12 out of nowhere.
And I thought that was going to be it for McIntyre, but he found a way to kick out. Right there. And then Roderick Strong came out. And look at that. McIntyre holding the tights of Austin Adams getting the pinfall. And McIntyre is the new Intercontinental Champion. Oh, look at this. McIntyre's not done with Austin, though. But guys, what could this mean, though? I don't understand. I still don't understand why Roger Strong from Undisputed Era came out here and helped McIntyre win the Intercontinental Championship. But anyway, this is over. Now McIntyre is the new Intercontinental Champion. Let's go to our next match. Alright, so here we go with our next matchup of the evening for Monday Night Raw. It's going to be the Ascension taking on a brand new tag team here for Monday Night Raw. And guys, I heard that this tag team that is going to be debuting here tonight is from BCW. And all I know is there's a lot of great tag teams from BCW coming to both either Raw or SmackDown but then again it all depends on how they perform too but I uh, heard that this team did a lot of great things at BCW and they uh, was able to impress BCW General Manager Baron Blade the General Manager for both Raw and SmackDown but Raw has taken this team and giving them an opportunity so let's find out who they are facing but wait a minute here they are I do believe that this is the tag team I was talking about Hanson and Rowe I do believe their name is called the War Raiders and I do believe that this is Hanson in the ring right now against Victor oh what is this oh what a maneuver and he and Hanson's just laughing and now this is Roe that's in the ring now Goodness, these two are just devastatingly. They just look absolutely dangerous. And guys, also, the Ascension, they will be facing Rusev Day next week on Monday Night Raw to see who advance in the tag team tournament. And what is this? Oh my god. Oh! Oh, springboard clothesline from Hanson and Rowe. Oh, and look at this. Hanson now just. Working on the shoulders, just. Tearing down Victor. And these two are doing a good job. And cutting a ring in half, not letting Victor get to his corner. And now Victor's starting to fight back, but no. Victor to the outside, but Roe bringing him back in. I mean, Hanson, I mean. With a clubbing blow to the back of the neck. Irish whip 
to the corner. Tag in the row. Oh, oh, what, what a devastating maneuver. Now row going for the pin. One, just a one count. Connor there able to break it up. And look at that, Hanson. I don't think he meant to do that. I think he was trying to go after Connor, but Connor got out of the way. And I think Rowe just busted open Victor with that one punch. Oh man. These guys are absolutely devastating. What is this? Oh, what a knee strike! And now Rowe going to the top. But Connor was there to stop it. Nice maneuver. Oh, tag team finisher. What do we got? What are we gonna see here? Oh no. What is that? Oh my god. God, crushing Victor, one, two, three, and the War Raiders are victorious on their debut here on Monday Night Raw, attacking the Ascension, and watch this, bam, that's a knockout blow if you ask me, and then there's this, Springboard assisted clothesline, And then a knee strike and a clothesline to the back. And then this, a devastating knee strike. Bam. And then the final blow, which is this devastating back drop, leg drop combination. And Hanson and Rowe, honestly, I do feel like they deserve a tag team opportunity for Monday Night Raw. But anyway, guys, let's go to our main event where we're going to see the Universal Champion, R-Truth, in action. All right, so here we go with our main event for tonight. It's going to be R-Truth, the WWE Universal Champion taken on a member of the Undisputed Era here, here tonight. So, with that being said, I guess the only thing we can do now is just find out who the member, which member of the Undisputed Era is going to be because there is four members. There's Roderick Strong, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, and the leader. Adam Cole, so let's go ahead and find out who is going to be facing our truth here tonight. And who we got? Who is our truth facing here tonight in a non title match? It looks like he's facing Roderick Strong. In this main event, so Roderick Strong getting an opportunity at the Universal Champion. But yet we do have, we have yet to find out who's going to be facing our truth at TLC. So maybe if Roderick Strong gets lucky here tonight, he might get an opportunity. But let's find out. There's our truth, the Universal Champion, Roderick Strong right there. And here we go. And look at this, Roger Strong right off the bat, reversing the move from R-Truth. And R-Truth with a big in Seguri. On a nice face plant suplex there. And look at the, both men. Trying 
trying to go for the same maneuver, but they ended up missing each other. And our truth, nice reversal. Truth is a snap suplex going for the pin. One. That's just a one count. Oh, and Truth now getting caught up with the fans. He needs to focus on this match for right now because he could be in some serious trouble. Look at that knee strike there from Roderick. And our truth again missing with that big boot. And Roger Strong with a unique combination. But no truth with the reversal. And now truth running off the ropes. Dancing with the leg drop. Nice. Now truth going for the pin. One. Just a one count. Not enough to put Roger Strong away yet. Truth still asking the fan, fans, what's up? It's not really a good thing to do right now. And our truth is a lie detector. Out of nowhere. Oh, look at this. What is Truth doing? He's in the second rope. The truth just standing there waiting for Roger Strong. Oh, look at that truth with little Jimmy. Our truth with little Jimmy. One, two, three. And our truth is victorious over Roger Strong. What an incredible maneuver that was. Our truth taking the time. To let Roger Strong regroup. But then out of nowhere he jumps from the second rope, connects with little Jimmy. And that's that. And then you see the lie detector. And then right here, look at this. Bam! Roger Strong ran at R Truth. That was a bad mistake. R Truth jumped off the rope, hit connected with that little Jimmy finishing maneuver. And it was all over. And R Truth is now victorious. But who's going to be facing our truth at TLC? We're going to have to find out. Because it's coming up very quickly. But anyways, guys, this is the end of episode number 8 of Universe Mode. This is the end of Monday Night Raw. We'll see you on SmackDown.